to do three kind of connected um, talks um, or uh, talking performances or um, performances talking. This is a body moving through patterns. An aging body. almost every joint. An able body. Losing value. This body is a body that has survived bike wrecks, falls downstairs, Iconic mosh pits, near poisonous amounts of alcohol, bad trips on recreational drugs, self induced starvation, small earthquakes, getting really lost in the wilderness before there were cell phones, being born by emergency C section. Long, repetitive days spent in environments made, designed to make people feel, or let's face it, women feel, like they're home improvement projects that will never be finished. In the most trying of times, this body has support, has systems ready, safety nets, people to catch it, pick it back up, put it together. This body had the opportunity to sit in classrooms and get degrees. It has been a neighbor to people whom it hasn't interacted with very much outside of coffee shops, who have been locked up, deported, left to drown, or huddled in a bathroom at a house party when an active shooter walked through. falls down and stands up and falls down and stands up and falls down and wonders how it will ever not turn out like its mother 
or its father, for that matter. This is the beginning of an idea. The other idea, or the idea exists once it has come into language. The other idea, the moving body, it exists somewhere else. The moving body is already full of ideas coming into language. It can only be real, it can only be here, and not in our heads, and not on the internet. And this body is here, in this room, with all the other bodies doing something that we pay very little attention to. It's real. It's here. But it might not be comprehensible. So we go through a process of explaining it. This idea, this coming into existence, all of its languages, whether you relate to them. or not. This is a body moving through patterns. It already told you what to think about it before it moved. With all its signifiers and all that it represents and all of the ways that it can be sized up and read and made legible through identity. We can fill in this blank space. And we do. The body moves anyway. Moves through, moves in, moves in between, moves to survive, moves around in its own life. Scar tissue, pattern, current of it, awareness, pattern. Scar tissue pattern awareness pattern current event scar tissue disruption maybe pattern <laughs> scar tissue
called bamboo. And um, first, I wanted to just have like an open discussion um, about rhizomes. And um, I mean, I can do the talking, but also other people can talk. Um, does anyone want to explain what a rhizome is? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Valentine. What are they? The, the yeah, they're that. Yeah. Instead of like that. Right? Yeah. So that would be like the tree and then the bam the rhizome is like this. Because it's like all one thing, even when it's a lot. Does anybody else? I think so. Yeah. They they come off of nodules. That's part of the root system. I am not like I don't know that much about them actually. <laughs> I'm honestly asking. <laughs> um, and I was just looking it up on my phone because I was thinking about rhizome philosophy as being really inspirational. Um, and so there are, you know, old white guys <laughs> that would talk about how rhizomes are like the image of thought or like consciousness. And um, they are in, in opposition to homogeneity, or they're homo, no, that's not the right word. They're, um, they don't relate to one. They don't have like a leader. They are, multi they're the definition of multiplicity in a way. And you can cut one off and it will just grow back up like the whole plant is taking care of it. So, anyone want to add anything else? <laughs> yeah? Is that like bamboo? Yeah. Bamboo is a rhizome. Does anybody know any other rhizomes? Ginger. Ginger. Cat's claw. Cat's claw. Or cypress trees. Cypress trees, yeah. yeah. Are aspens too? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah, again, don't know that much. There's a bee. What is Is it the invasive one? Okay, ratio. Well, if it's really hard to kill, you can assume it's a rhizome. <laughs> um, and it's amazing. I mean, in book club, we were just reading a little bit about them. And, like, if you, if you peel up the ground in certain places where there are rhizomes, like, underneath, it's just, like, a completely amazing interwoven mat. Nut grass. Elephant ears. Elephant ears. Elephant ears. Are they rhizomes? Those things are so connected, you pull one, you got three thousand. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep going. Okay. What about kudzu? Kudzu, that's the one. Yeah. Great. I wish I had a whiteboard and we could just write up. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> okay. Um, so I what I would like to propose is that for those who are willing um, to do a bamboo practice, um, we're going to do it collectively. I know, this is like that moment in participatory things where you're like, no! Ah, I hate participating! Ah. Um, but, so, if you want to, and I kind of expect dancing people to do it, um, we're gonna make we're gonna make um, some supportive structures in this open space right here, and so by supportive I mean um, that we'll be in connection somehow to each other or maybe also to the space, and um, yeah, so. For some reason, I've had really good luck with getting people to do this before, and I never think it's going to happen. But anyone who wants to come up and be part of the bamboo, you can come this moment.
the first step to saying something is there's something mean important to say that it is. And we know that the pelvis is extremely important, though we may not have a say over what can happen in it. And vision is important. intellectual, they have to be white to be modern, they have to be clean to be heard selectively the way that some words matter and others don't. Click, click, shopping cart, petition, merchandise.org, and rhizome. Thank you. 